Sparta is now open. The title of this video, Bullshit, Context, Expectations, Accountability, and Results. When I first started doing the information selling business, because that's what I do, I'm an internet marketer and I sell information, I did any and everything to get customers. I remember one of the first phone calls, when I used to take phone calls from anyone, because I was trying to sell a product, and I needed more information on how to market that product. So all information was good. I remember this guy. He called me up, very nice fellow. We went back and forth, and then he asked me pointedly, why should I buy your book? What can it do for me that I can't do for myself? And I went ahead and explained that my many years of experience and the fact that I literally watch a few thousand people come out to the storage auction business and crash and burn because they had no idea what to do, no way to properly frame their business. And after about 15 minutes, there was a pause. And he said, I'm still not convinced. And I was like, well, that's all I got. But in the spirit of cooperation, I answered your questions, you answered a few of mine. And he's like, sure. So I went on and I asked him, how much money have you spent this month on things that reduce your financial position? Coffee, going out, drinks, clothing, stuff you really don't need, only want. And how much money have you spent on things that will increase your financial position? Uh, money invested in your in your 401k, RIA, or just saving. And he kind of paused, and he said, I really don't know. So I probed some more. And this is where being in a consulting sales position back in the day helped me. And after another 10 minutes, because, you know, at this point, we're all like 40 minutes on the phone, I threw out an estimate that blew his mind. So what you're telling me is you have mindlessly blown $500 to $750 on things that make you feel good or things that you want, and you have no, you've put no money away for things that you need or that will increase your financial position, but you want to sit here and dicker with me over a $39.95 ebook. And uh, he wasn't really happy with me I was like, okay, I get that. He never bought the book, but it always puzzled me. Recently, I had another conversation. I charge 150 bucks per hour for consultation. And I'm on the phone with the client, and we're talking and we're talking. And at the end, we, you know, we went back and forth, and she said, you know, some things I knew, there's some really good stuff I didn't know. And she said, you know what really scares the shit out of me? She was frank like that. And I was like, what? She's like, I paid you $150. I have all this information. I have to do something with it. And it scares the shit out of me. And it was like, boom, and the lightning and revelation hit me. It's not the money. You know, my products in terms of expense are not really expensive for what they do. It's the accountability in a narcissistic, individual culture where people don't want to be accountable and always want to have endless options to strike their fancy. Accountability is a scary, scary thing. That's why products that are super cheap and have no real accountability factor do quite well because it feeds into that mindset. So, essentially, if you have a problem, and understand, I do believe in personal development products. You've heard me speak of Lead the Field, Tony Robbins. I invested buku money in that stuff for the last 15 years. So I'm not just saying, hey, buy my stuff. I buy no one else's. But what I've noticed is that people 
have a sense of I know it all or I can figure it out. And I'm going to tell you, no, you can't. Each time I make an investment in my business with the right person, everyone's not the right person, I see an immediate return. Because what you're doing is leveraging that knowledge into your business. You're getting past your learning curve. Now, on the thing of over the top, knock yourself off results. One of my mentors actually helped me with that a long time ago. And he said it. And he was one of the first people to urge me to get a script in the Ink magazine versus just buying it here and there. Because I've always read it, but I usually just bought it at the newsstand. And he's like, look, you get a subscription. You'll pay for a whole year where you're paying for two copies. <laughs> I was like, okay, that makes sense. And also understand, if you get one ideal a month out of that magazine that helps your business, you, it's, it's ridiculously cheap. You have to really learn what's value, what's worth, and what's meshes with your expectations based in the proper context because if you're expecting earth-shattering results from something that you really didn't pay earth-shattering money for you're an idiot There's been a lot of requests for a free trial for Sparta. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make that happen. And it's really sneaky. Just watch. There are 85 hours. It took me a minute to figure it out. It was 85 hours of video content. Video content on YouTube that I've uh, created in the last three years and seven, eight months, something like that. <laughs> that is, if you sat down and did nothing for eight hours a day, but watched my videos for two weeks and half a day. Two work weeks. That's how long it would take you. Com de com committing eight freaking hours a day to watching my content. So... That's your free trial. I mean, it's the best free trial on the internet. No one else can say you have 85 hours of free, actionable content. I have the letters. I have proof that people are making money from the stuff that's already here on YouTube. So for those of you who want a YouTube, you know, a free trial, there it is. Just uh, I actually made a few changes. You go to the channel page and bam, it's 2009. Through 2011, I broke up 2012, and I started a new playlist 2013 to break it up. And from what I get, the early videos are the better ones for in terms of educational content. But I think they're all informational, and I think they can all educate you. But that's just my opinion. I'm just one man of many. But that's your free trial. Okay, now moving on to accountability. Because, as you heard in the first part of this video, I was out walking and it just hit me. I was like, I need to get this down, I need to get this down right freaking now. And I put it together, and that's it. Because it's not about the money. I have talked to people who would, out, would, would not even think. We'll blow $200, $300, $400 on a pair of shoes or purse. And I'm talking about men and women and will not blink. They'll see these shoes and they're like, oh, that is the shoe of life. That's the purse of life. And they'll pull out the credit card, won't they? And gimme, 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 gimme. And they have it. But 
every day I get emails like, hey, is it worth it? And I've developed a new mindset. It started about the middle of last year. There are too many people that really like what I do for me to even worry about folks who don't. I mean, seriously, there's, there's way too many. I mean, the numbers are like, Phew. so hey, if it doesn't work for you, if I didn't do a good enough selling job to you, have a nice life. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Now, for those of you who really like it, understand, hustling mindset is totally different. Just to give it to you in a nut, because I get these questions, it's like, is it like this program or is it like that pro? No, it's not. The hustler mindset is predicated on my life. Just like your life is totally different from my life, this can't be like anyone else's program. It's not modeled after anyone else's program. I'm not a member of a lot of stuff. Most of my information comes from books, audio courses, and specific individuals who for the most part, we're never online. So the online component is that's what's made my storage auction business exceptional because I embraced technology when most people did not. Now, the difference in the hustler mindset is mentality. When I put it together, this was the original plan. I'm going to put this together, 25 bucks a month. We're going to have two components, roughly an hour and a half a week. One about the mental aspect, you know, the mental gym, mental pimping, then an actionable exercise. That was it. That was the plan. That was that was what it's gonna be. Then bam, all these people signed up and I was like, okay, man, I gotta increase my game. So I started adding stuff. I put some stuff in, some stuff worked, some stuff didn't work. And you know, as I put out on a Skype call one day, I was like, you guys are the guinea pigs. Oink, oink, you guinea pigs, and everyone laughed. But that was the reality of it because this has exceeded my expectations. I didn't think that it was going to be this big. Really didn't. So with that, the hustler mindset, first and foremost, is a way for you to get your mind straight to be successful in all areas of your life. Not just internet marketing, not just business, not just resales, and like... Uh, the store, you know, someone referred to me as the storage auction guy, which for the most part I am, but I've changed the channel page and I'm a business consultant in the business development because pretty much since 2009, that's what I've been doing. I haven't bought a unit. Okay, I have bought some units under the table and through people, but it's been about two years. But actually being hard, firm, really in the game, early 2009, that was it. It was a wrap then. So we are like at the four year mark that I've really been out of that game and more into helping people get in the game or increase their business. Another thing with the hustler mindset, for years, this comment has littered my YouTube wall consistently. Hey, I love the stories, but I'm not interested in storage auctions. I love the business advice, but I'm not interested in storage auctions. Hey, when are you going to put together a separate hustler mindset group? This went on for about two years before I did it. So the market was there for the hustler mindset, but I was just dealing with these production companies and fighting with people online and just doing all kinds of stupid shit. Then one day I just woke up and said, look, you need to make a decision. What are you going to do? Because unlike many people, and someone put a comment, it's like, what are you happy about, Dave, saying it's fake? Your, your book sales are going to go down. Dude, my book sales were going to go down anyway because people were moving away from going out to auctions. The cat's been out the bag for three years now. People know what it is. And what Dave did just confirmed what many people already knew and disappointed a large segment. So I knew this was coming. Honestly, I didn't expect for it to go on this long. I really did. I mean, seriously, I was just like, every month that went by, I was like, wow, this is really going on. It's really going on. Now, this is the cool thing. This is what I wanted to do from jump. But like I tell you, sometimes you have to take advantage of the opportunities as they are there versus what you want them to be. I mean, it was just there. I had created the YouTube channel, wrote the book. I had a 14-month lead time on the TV shows. I would have been stupid to just like, eh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else. I mean, seriously, it was just like, hey, people were like, 
throwing money at me. I mean, come on. You, you would have did it too. But now we're at the point where I'm doing a pivot. Um, there will still be storage auction stuff. Let me go ahead and just explain to you what's going to happen with storage auction Shogun. Storage auction device for non wimpy people. I have, now just remember, I told you, 85 hours of content here on YouTube. Well, I probably have another 20 hours of content that I have not released, you know, not publicly, you know, maybe in group sessions, whatever, that I'm just going to release in Sparta over a period of time and another set of content and some storage auction stories and some storage auction, storage auction videos that would just go on Shogun. I mean, it's probably going to take me a year to finish that just to put that stuff there. So there'll, there'll be stuff there. And at the end of the year, it'll just be storage auction Shogun, four or 500 pages of content. And bam, you can buy stuff. In the meantime, in the between time, I am moving harder and harder and harder to go forward with Sparta because it's personal development. This is something that I've been a member of most of my life. I bought Buku tapes because this is the thing. Like I said in the audio section, you when you make an investment in yourself with the right person, and I'm going to say something, I may not be the right person for you. I may not be. That's just, that's life, baby. I'm not mad at you and you shouldn't be mad at me. But I will urge you, whether you get my products but to invest in yourself, explore, because there's a whole ton of really awesome people out there. Buy their stuff and improve your life. Everything is not for everyone. It's like dating. I have what's called the 99% rule. 99% of the women that I meet are not the one. And when I really embrace that rule, I stopped becoming disenfranchised and upset with dating because what was happening was just a natural occurrence of life. And then when you met that 1% that was the you had to be like, Come here, girl. I got you. Hold on tight. Because that's the reality of it. It doesn't come along every day. It doesn't come along every week. It doesn't come along every month. It doesn't come along every year. For some people, it doesn't even come along every decade. So, buy something. Invest. Get some of Tony Robbins' old stuff. Um, Brian Tracy's stuff. Earl Nightingale. I've recommended Earl Nightingale hundreds of times on this channel because Earl Nightingale changed my life. But that's the pivot. That's what I'm doing. It's going to be... The hustler mindset. I'm going to run hard with that and continue to write my dirty books on the side. That's what I do. And there will be another blog, but it's going to be totally different. And let's talk about, you know, succinctly, what is the hustler mindset? It's an ability for you to control you. That's the hustler mindset. The ability for you to control you. Because most people are a slave to their impulses, habits, and desires. You flip that around, you change your world. Now, what is it? It's not internet marketing. It's not storage auctions. It's not Craigslist. It's a common solution. Because the thing is, I'm going back to it. Because the thing was Mental Mondays. And that was the mental component strategies for you to change how you think and then I just added a business component because I thought it was like hey if I can throw something in here where you learn how to make some money then you're essentially getting this course for free which I thought was pretty cool and I'm still working toward that aim and for some people it's happened now let's talk about the founders let's talk about the OGs of Sparta that's so funny since it's only five months old they came in they had faith in me and everyone that came in as an OG 25 bucks a month for life no matter what I do to Sparta what I add it's only 25 bucks a month now it's 60 dollars a month and let me tell you what's on the development sheet some hot stuff so next time it's going up because this is my thing and this is just me I'm not trying to make it cheap to reach more people I give a fuck about that seriously I do if I only had, and I understand, my benchmark was low. If I like got 10 people a month, I was happy. That's what the goal was, 10 people a month. So now if I get, you know, 200, that's all I need. I don't have to run all over the internet and get everyone and do all this stuff and deal with people I don't want to deal with. Because the thing is, when you pay money, it makes you accountable. You just can't keep paying this money and not doing anything. I've got Ed. I've got... You know, hustle man. I, I've got all these people. I've got the the yacht man <laughs> in Sparta. And the thing is, I noticed that the energy is real cool. It's really, really cool. 
and I'm looking to make it even better and better and better. Now, it's not happening this month, but in one of the future months, this is one of the things on the development sheet. I'm going to teach people how to do videos because I've been on YouTube since 2009 and I know how to do videos and I've learned what works and what doesn't work and you can make a gang of money with a video that only has a few views. See, that's the thing. Everyone's been like, millions of views, thousands of views. No, 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 no. If you get the right views from the right people, a video that only has two, three, four hundred views could make you a thousand dollars or more because it's targeted and that's what the thing because YouTube is becoming very large all kinds of stuff's going on and YouTube is going to be crazy in the next five years I'm not going anywhere I love YouTube and then you know that's going to be a component to teach people how to use YouTube and set up their own channels on their own internet property and assets it's going to be huge 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 because everyone's going to video and also, I've got a killer interview coming up with my girl, Melissa. Oh, my God. Her story is freaking awesome. She agrees. So we're going to do that probably in the next four to six weeks. All that stuff. And what's going to happen is there will be a video here for you people on YouTube. And there will be a certain section for Sparta. Because Melissa is one of the smartest people I have ever freaking met. The girl started off as a picker going to garage sales and she leveraged that into not one store but two when i met her was she 27 i think and that was she might be 34 35 now i think you gotta ask her you know but she still and she did this all this before she was 30 and she started as a teenager like so those teen pickers those guys are on it because I'm going to tell her about you guys, too, because the thing is, that's what she started. She started in high school doing that stuff and leveraged it into because she had one small store. Then she got her landlord would not renew her lease. So she had she was forced to go somewhere else. Then she ended up buying the building. And I remember she's like, this is scary stuff. It's like it's a lot of money every month. But she weathered the storm. But that's a person who was a true picker that became a business person that owns a lot of stuff right now and employs several people so awesome story coming soon and also another thing that's coming if you're a member of Sparta you can get it if you don't want it it's going to be a business podcast it's going to be a paid podcast it's going to be a subscriber podcast because one of the things is I talk to a lot of people and I like talking to people who are about it who want to do something I don't care if you're just curious you, know, you I don't Fuck you, okay? Seriously, fuck you if you're just curious. I don't care. I don't want you on my team. I'm like going the Nick Saban. If <laughs> like you ain't a star or want to be a star or you're not trying to pretend to be a star, I don't want you. And that's the reason for the pricing because the pricing is going to the pricing is just going to automatically self of you know qualify people. It's like pff, that's too much. You're out. I don't even have to worry about this stuff. And I understand since I've started charging. The craziness has come down since I started stop battling people on YouTube. The craziness has come down. All this stuff is gone away, and it's you know making better decisions and serving people who want to be served. You know I can have the best cake in this spoon, and I can be like here, here, here. But if you don't want cake, I can might as well have some shit in that spoon. I've learned that you have to feed the people that want to be fed. Everyone doesn't want to be fed. There's still people in the matrix. They're hooked up to the tubes and they do not want to be released. They do not want emancipation. They don't want out the matrix. They want to continue on doing the same old, same old because the price of change is still too high. Because the only time that you're going to change as a person is when the, pr the pain of change is less than the pain of staying the same. As long as the pain of change is greater than the pain of staying the same, that's what you're going to have. So that's it. That's in a nutshell. That's what's going on with Sparta. A lot of cool stuff's coming up to this year. Awesome freaking stuff. I got a project that I'm working on that I just think is going to be awesome once I shape it up. But I can't share it right now. But that's the deal. So if you want to member, be a member of Sparta, you want to get in and get some great content, some great information that will help you and your life and your business, the link's below. It will be open for a limited time. 
And then I'm going to close it again. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I may offer it at the price before I raise it because once I do these new enhancements, the value is going to go up. That's my whole thing. Bring the value up. I'm trying to bring you up here. I'm not trying to come down there to you. I'm trying to bring you up to life, to that place you want to be. You know, come up, not go down. No. And that's a new, that's a new, new theme of mine because I'm like, yeah, bring it up. Bring it up. So that's the deal. And, uh, I'll see you on the other side.